this is part number six on the on the bed and right next to it part number five so the difference here you can see uh, these horns are quite a bit bigger on the uh, here let me put them end to end the horns are quite a bit bigger on well a little bit bigger on number five so it looks like turning this fan up right above here uh, that's the only change I made so uh, this fan here this kind of temp mounted um, was running uh, 255 so it's actually over volting quite a bit but that's fine these can handle it so it was running at a uh, 24 volts instead of 12 but uh, it seemed to do fine and it looks like the print quality is a little bit better so I'm gonna have to work out something to uh, mount a permanent fan down here it seems like the quality is pretty good I think if I get better airflow uh, more even airflow maybe I can make a better cube so uh, hopefully I'll be done making these soon actually I think I'm gonna try to print a fan mount so uh, we'll see how it goes Alright, so I have found a fan that I like on uh, Thingiverse, or a fan mount rather, and I happen to already have a 40 millimeter fan that should go onto this piece, uh, and then this piece uh, replaces the blue one that I already have on there, so um, this should blow on the part, this should cool the hot end, and we should be all good. So uh, I've already post-processed just this one because I'm going to focus on him. I feel like this one might be a little bit easier. So I'm going to give that guy a go first, but you can see uh, drawing all the layers here in Cura. You can watch how it builds it up. So if you didn't see this in the other videos, you should go check them out. But um, you can see where the support material is and everything. This one's got these pretty gnarly things on it that I'm a little worried about. And, I know cooling has to be good and it's going to take a while. So I'm going to try to knock this one out tonight, see if I can get a good piece. That'll set me up pretty good for another evening of trying to get this guy. Keep in mind I'm still dialing everything in here. So, um, And without proper cooling, I need this guy to do proper cooling really, I think, to get really good high quality prints. So I'm going to try to get this guy. Uh, I'm going to do this out of PLA and the hot end doesn't even get, like, I mean, I can touch it when it's hot up here on the very, very first fin. It's not the least bit hot. Now it's hot down here, um, but that's about it. So anyway, I think PLA will be fine. I'm going to give this guy a go. I'm going to jump into high speed mode and you can see my attempts at printing this guy. Well, I guess I couldn't get the, get it on the first try. Um, stuck really well. It looks to be making a really nice part there um, until the top. It's got a little bit of stringing going on. That's no big deal though. Um, seems good otherwise, but my uh, I, every now and then I'll hear a crack, and it's when the damn extrusion back here. Uh, gets jammed up for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure what's causing it, although I'm running inside the box, like my spool is in this box, and just I'm letting it spin around in there, and so every now and then it gets a little bound up, so it's probably not helping. I'm not really running out of torque, though, which is odd, so it's this Bowden tube set up, I think. Um, I mean, I, it's extruding pretty darn well, so I, I don't know. I, I need to find out why it'll go for a while and then just stop, but... See how it goes. Alright, so I'm working on this extruder. Uh, luckily I can just swing it right out of the way here. Um, there's this hole here where the hot end usually mounts. It's about a 15 millimeter opening. Um, so what I've done, if you just saw the time lapse, uh, I've got a piece I just printed. So it actually came out pretty nice. Uh, I did have to print it again to make the hole bigger. It's like a 3 millimeter hole. And I can fit a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench through it. So. 
Uh, I have a little bit of a flare out here still uh, on the edge from the, the heated bed that I'll have to look at, but for this part it works just fine. Uh, it goes right in, so I'm going to fill that in. That should keep the... Uh, I'm hoping at least that this will keep the uh, filament from being able to buckle, so it'll just keep it pushing through when uh, it really needs a lot of extra torque, so... Uh, I was able to get enough through it to not, you know, to make this part at least before it jammed, so. So I'll put that in there. It should guide the filament a little easier as well, so. Uh, when I do go and put this back through here, uh, it should be, should be pretty helpful actually, so. We should see my first functional print, I guess. Alright, this is my first 3D printed thing. Uh, actually the... Uh, extruder bushing that I made to keep the column nice and tight while it was pushing up through the Bowden tube uh, worked out great so I think I mean this is the proof here that it finished an entire part without jamming I've just laid the spool behind it sideways so it feeds a lot better too so um, anyway this is right off the printer like I pulled a couple little hairs off of it and realized wow I should shoot a video of this but um, pretty darn good. I like it a lot. I think this is going to replace here. I don't remember how it goes. I'll have to look at the, the drawing on Thingiverse, but um, couldn't ask for much better than that. You can see a little bit of, I guess you call it banding here, um, but I'm not too worried about it. Like That's a really functional piece and it's pretty much to spec of what I wanted, so uh, really happy with that. I'm going to print the other part. It's a little bit uh, a little bit rougher of a, of a second part. It's got a lot more overhang and stuff. So uh, this there is a little bit of overhang going on here. And uh, it just handled it perfectly. So no strings really or anything. Uh, that was this mono price PLA at uh, 210, 70 on the bed. Turned the bed off after the first few layers. And a side fan up here that just <clears throat> is what I'm actually building this. So I have a real fan on the part instead of on the side. So anyway, that's it. Looks good. So that last print failed uh, near the end. I'm not sure why. It looks like the extruder made it jammed up a little bit, started slipping. Uh, I tightened it down with some Allen wrenches this time. Now that I have the uh, full containment on it from the last uh, upgrade, if you want to call it that, uh, it seems to be going pretty well, so I feel like I can tighten it down a little bit. That way the added friction of it getting crushed and pushed through the tube isn't going to stop it. So we'll see. I'm still working out the bugs. Here's what I ended up with. Uh, I mounted my fan, actually. I just screwed these. These are the screws that mounted it to some metal, but they screwed right in and grabbed right on, so it's good enough. It's not, not perfect, but uh, you're supposed to put some nuts in there, I think, to uh, to actually tighten it down, but I don't think it's going anywhere. It's pretty, pretty good and strong. This guy will uh, mount about like so, and that's going to go right up on the hot end, so I can either poke it out to the side here and kind of use up some of my mill space temporarily at least or it almost fits right here um, I might be able to make it fit here I'm not sure this is kind of what I was hoping when I got it, it was a, like a universal generic one but um, it goes together and has a little spot there so if that wire can come up here maybe I can just tweak it a little bit and get it to come up there that would be ideal 
because it's not eating up any of the usable space here. I can see the fan and everything. So again, this fan is to replace uh, is to replace this fan that I got zip tied up here. So it's gonna blow a lot better on the part. I just hit it with a little bit of sandpaper here, but I think that should get most of the air there. It comes up a little bit more and I think curls back around a little bit, but it didn't print that, but I'm gonna stick it on there. Maybe part of the reason is it didn't have good cooling from this fan up here, so. Either way, that's some uh, functional printed parts. Finally, these are my first two actual parts, really. Um, that should about do it, I think.